Brother Oscar X Occultic Master Part 4 of Ivory Coast Former Satanist Tells Mysteries Witchcraft Infrastructure and Logistics of Satan I was working with witches of every street for in every street of the world there is a witch who monitors the inhabitants of the street. These leaders of streets were monitoring and gathering information about every family in their street. I will advise you to avoid speaking up about your project and intention in the street for we were monitoring and gathering intelligence on every man and woman and whenever you say what you are planning to do we made sure to block it. Leaders of streets were bringing information about the inhabitant of their streets everywhere on the earth. There are instruments and logistics of intelligence gathering set up by the enemy in order to know people ambition and project. There are unclean spirits of intelligence gathering and control everywhere which gave me information about people in their jurisdiction for they had intelligence on people living in their jurisdiction. I was also deploying unclean spirits on top of many trees of my burrow. These wandering spirits were intelligence gathering agents working for I needed information in order to block people's projects and ambitions. The determination and resistance of witches and wizard in the end time. Witchcraft is one of the strategies of the devil. Witches and wizards are ruthless soldiers of the devil. Witches often reach a level in the dark world where they will not repent under no circumstances because of the level they are in. These are witches with the mark of Goliath on their bodies. There are also witches with the mark of King Herod on them. There are witches having the mark of Queen Jezebel on their bodies. There are witches with the mark of Delilah. They are various demonic warriors fighting gods. Children in the spiritual war. Some of these demons are avatars who are men born from the union of water mermaids and satanists. These kind of hybrid human beings must be wiped out. When you invoke the rainbow which is the first governance and the deluge they will be wiped out. On the other hand high-ranking witches will convert only when they are faced with angels. Whenever the devil instruct witches to shut down and destroy churches, these servants of Satan come face to face with the warrior angels of God who don't hesitate to execute them. Those who escape angelic onslaught return to the devil where they faced a death threat and they are sent back to the battlefield to face angelic warrior which means death. It is in this scenario when witches face choices of either to die in the battlefield in the hand of angelic warriors or to repent. Having encountered the power of Satan and the power of God they can assess the power of God. In truth, a witch will only repent when he is sure that the man of God can protect him from the devil. He must be sure that the men of God have enough power to overpower Lucifer and protect him. Children and prayer. Brother, in order to initiate war against God's children, firstly I was checking whether they were born out of marriage or in marriage. Those who are born out of wedlock have a dark link in their blood which is an open gateway. Once I found out that you were born out of wedlock, I was then checking the link which is the curse that is in your blood and I would take your photo to the second heaven for examination. These are blood tests and examinations we were doing to determine and confirm the covenant in your blood. For there is a difference between a child born in marriage and child born out of marriage. There is a dark link following children born out of wedlock. They will be frustrated in all their lives unless they come to Christ. David suffered from this dark link and he said, My mother conceived me in iniquity. This is a blood issue. The most powerful prayer a Christian can do is to change his blood to the blood of Christ in order to undo the covenant in the blood. You can change your blood system to the blood of Christ through prayer. In order to undo blood condition. One day I was traveling in hyperspace in order to attend a meeting of Satanists in the astral world. While I was moving in hyperspace in the speed of light I saw in my trajectory a wall of fire that was preventing me from passing. Quickly I tried to fly over this wall of fire but I was blocked. I tried to fly on the left and right side of this wall of fire. I could not pass for I was blocked. I knew that this was the fire of God. 
Finally, I decided to come down to the ground to check what was happening. When I landed on the ground, to my surprise I saw a group of children. They were playing church and trying to imitate a church service. Basically, these children go to church with their parents and they were trying to copy what they see in the church. They were mimicking prayer saying, in the name of Jesus we cast out devils. When I looked carefully I saw a child that was playing pastor and laying his hand on another child. Then he said, I cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ. I saw his friend pretending to fall on the ground. The child who played the pastor thought he was just playing. However there were things that were happening for when he said in the name of Jesus Christ I cast out devil, I saw a spirit of death leaving his friend who pretended to fall to the ground. Things were happening. When these children were using the name of Jesus Christ, I came to understand that these children were the ones stopping me from passing. They erected a wall of fire in space, thanks to their meeting and I could not pass. Brother, when you see children playing church don't stop them. You don't know what is happening in the spirit world. I could not attack these children for when they began to pray the angels of the Lord descended and there was a great light. Moreover, their parents were Christians. I would have died had I tried to come against them. We must not stop children when they play church because everything matters in the spiritual world. Adults must never stop children from copying and impersonating the pastor and church. Nothing is neglected in the spirit in the eyes of God. When children are copying pastors and church the angels of the Lord respond automatically for God takes it seriously. We must understand that children's faith is greater than that of adults and God responds automatically when children pray and these children were covered with light. When a toddler says, Alleluia and Amen, these are not simple words even if the child is nine months. It's dangerous. When a child utter biblical words, there are mystical waves raised in the spirit world. Children are more powerful than you think and when they speak God's word there is greater power. That is why we fought to stop parents from taking their children to church. I had to interrupt this. Children meeting in order to continue my journey in the astral world. Quickly I cause a mother who is sitting around to scatter them. I mean I caused this woman to stand up and say to the children. Too much noise. Please, it's done. As a result, the children abandoned their prayer. I said to the spirit of the woman, you did a great job. I could not attack these children for fear of death. Therefore I used a human agent. When the children went away I waited for the fire to become extinguished and I continued my journey to the satanic meeting. We worked so that parents would not take their children to church. Beloved, Whenever you come to church without your children you are vexing the Lord. You are in rebellion with God. You cannot go to church to seek eternal life and leave children at home. They Lord will not be happy with you. Therefore you are exposed for you are out of the will of God. The Bible says to teach the children the way of the Lord. I said that when parent leave children to watch cartoon it is dangerous. The cartoon causes Possession and Rebellion Children become rebellious yet the Bible says, Honor your father and mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. They Devil knows that rebellion and failure to obey your parents will reduce children's longevity. Many children are dying prematurely because of failure to obey their parent. After scattering these children I traveled to the meeting where we were debating how to attack God's Children who are in business because they support soul winning and since they support evangelism, they make progress in their businesses. As a result, unbelievers who were businessmen were joining the church because of them. In order to destroy God's children's businesses, we were supposed to link them with those who resort to occultism so they will be attacked. The second weapon we were using was pride since your business grows and you have become prosperous. We were sending pride so you would begin to look down on others. 
we were then entering to crush your business. Thirdly we were sending women agents who were our business ladies so that you will fall in sexual immorality with them. If these ladies fail in their mission they were traveling under the sea to get more seduction power. Children and parent nakedness brother, one day I was flying in space and heading to a meeting of Satan. While I was flying I saw a villa on the land. I felt like I had to fly backward and check what was happening in the villa. When I flew over that villa I saw a Christian lady washing in her bathroom. She was not covered. But I noticed that she was washing with her child failing to realize that this is a curse for the child. The Bible says that children should not see the nakedness of their parents. On that day I enforced the curse on the child for her mother had deliberately exposed her child to her nakedness. Many mothers exposed themselves before their children. They are putting their children under a curse. This was an open door and legality. I was using it in order to attack children. I was causing women of God to bathe with their children and walked half naked before their children so that their children will be cursed. This issue is widespread in many families and many have come to confess after hearing my testimony. There is no attack in the spirit world where the gateway and door are not opened. It is only when you break a law of God that you come under attack. When working for the devil I used to get children to fight and injure one another for the sake of blood. Whenever one of them is injured it is either an angel that will come and get the blood or a demon that will come to get it for it cannot be lost like that. Blood is sought in the world of Satan. Demons would like to collect your drops of blood in order to affect your life. Moreover, the bank of the blood of Satan had to be supplied and refilled at all times by all means. Outward adornment is Satan end time strategy. Last time, I talked about how I was able to enter the church through women adornment and makeup. Today demons can attend Christian services thanks to women makeup and jewelry. These products allow demons to come to the church for they are their property. Whenever a woman was wearing a wig in the church, I was leaving my body and entering the church through her wig in order to operate. I was inside the wig, artificial hair to capture what is in the mind and memory of women and transfer the information about their lives to the world of Satan. Whenever I wanted to fight a woman of prayer I was checking whether she was attached to makeup and jewelry. These properties of the devil gave me the advantage and legality to defeat these women. Brother, it is true that when the prodigal son returned home the father killed an animal and put a ring in his finger. It is true that the Lord instructed the use of the ring in Deborah's marriage but here is where the problem is. Whenever a shop designed necklace ring and bracelet, we were ordered to duplicate them in the marine world and we were coming back to that jewelry and we were replacing the original product with the ones we have designed in the manufacturing industries of the world of water. Brother, the jewelry we were making in the marine kingdom were snakes, scorpions, and millipedes, animals. In the marine kingdom, I saw mermaids gathering serpents and pulling them like wires in order to design wigs. Many women on the earth are wearing wigs that are serpents. I said that the devil want women to be attached to makeup and jewelry and I saw water mermaids praying to the queen of heaven so that women will be attached to makeup and jewelry despite the preaching of pastors and the warning of the Lord. Thus we were leaving the body and we were traveling to various jewelry and we were copying the original model and we were designing them underwater and we were replacing original jewelry with python, snakes, and millipedes. Even a wedding ring can be a snake a scorpion and millipede. You should pray before buying a wedding ring for you may buy a snake. I always advise brothers to avoid the wedding rings because you don't know whether it is a normal ring or a duplicate of the marine kingdom. These rings that are demonic animals will cause you trouble in marriage and ministry therefore. Discernment is crucial. Many Christians on their wedding day wear rings that are snakes. Understand that we were replacing even rubber hair with wig designed by water mermaid. Which were snakes. Witchcraft manipulation in the crossroad and roundabout. 
Brother, in many of the crossroad and roundabout at the city, I was mounting net and spider web. In order to capture people blessings, stars and souls. When people were passing they were. Leaving their blessing and their souls. However, it is when a burning and dedicated Christian was. Coming that I was removing these net and spider web otherwise it will catch fire and burn. One day a burning Christian was passing and we failed to notice him early in order to remove the net. As a result, he entered the net. As soon as he touched the net it took fire and it was burned. As a result, we lost all the souls and blessings that were on the net. People recovered their souls and their blessing that were captured. There were days I came to pee in the crossroad in order to bewitch people with my pee. When I was peeing I was actually bewitching and enchanting the crossroad. Anyone smelling that urine came under manipulation. My encounter with a burning Christian. One day, in the city people went to see a football game and I placed my net on the road to catch souls and stars. When the game was over a huge crowds that came out of the stadium were passing the road where I had installed my net. On that day many souls were captured in my net and I was so happy that I was dancing. While I was celebrating there was a 17 years old man coming and he was about to reach the crossroad. When I looked I saw that this young man who was a fiery believer had already entered the crossroad where the net was and I could not remove the net and it was too late. When this Christian entered the crossroad there was an explosion and the net was destroyed. All the souls from the stadium that I had captured were liberated. Everything was destroyed by this young man. And he passed without realizing the destruction he had caused. I was so angry that I took my rocket launch device. I shot the young man with a rocket propelled device. When it was about to reach the young man this rocket deviated to a woman that was hit. And she collapsed on the ground. I was wondering how come a young man overpower a master of African witchcraft. I was so angry that I swore to make war on this man. The spiritual weight of the believer. When I weighed this Christian on my scale it broke because he was strong and heavy. I was monitoring and attacking this Christian but I was unable to reach him. I shot him with arrow rocket and gun but it didn't work. Nevertheless, I was determined to deal with him. Whenever a man of God comes to a burrow he was weighed in order to determine his spiritual level. Every territory a child of God enter he will be measured by witches and demons to determine his spiritual weight whether he is light or heavy. It is those who fast and pray with a dedication that weighs heavy. For a man of God to be strong, his wife must grow in spirit together with him. Otherwise, she will be the instrument and gateway for the enemy. When we attack the pastor and we fail, we were checking the wife and children. In my case, I was trying to enter the dream of pastor's wives in order to have sex with them in the dream and when the pastor sleep with his wife what I deposited in the body of his wife in the dream was weakening him. This was actually the spirit of heaviness weakness and laziness in prayer that was to overtake him. As a result, the fire would begin to go down and extinguish. When he becomes unable to pray it was a defeat for him. We had defeated pastors thanks to their wives. Fasting and prayer in spiritual conflict. This young man that I was fighting was covered with flames of fire. When he walks in the street to visit fellow Christians, flames of fire that were covering him were destroying the works of Witchcraft and enchantment in the street without his realization. Whenever he entered the court of a compound where a fetish is buried his presence burned the fetish buried in the compound and those who were under manipulation were liberated in that compound. He did not know the destruction that his presence was causing in the spirit world. This 17 years old man was living a life of fasting and prayer. He liked spending time in the Meditation of God's Word Wherever he passed the works of darkness were destroyed. When he walked the street demons are scattered and running away because of flames of fire covering him. 
he did not need to fight them for he was living in holiness and he was dedicated to prayer. Whenever he was moving there was the destruction of nets, holes, booby traps, and people who were bewitched were set free when he passed by them. I was alerted that this young man was causing trouble in the sector for no Satanist was able to control and overpower him. He had to be stopped. Brother, this was not a pastor, just a simple Christian that was living in prayer and holiness. When he prays, the system of the devil was down. Given that I had a strike force and people were depending on me, I was supposed to deal with him. When I took over I was supposed to study Andre search the spiritual condition of this young man. I was supposed to determine his strength and weakness. Quickly I found out that his love for God was developed. Often when he walked the street, he was always singing in his heart and when a Christian develops a habit of singing in his heart and soul, it is dangerous for we were keeping distance. Whenever women of God cook and sing for God there is power that descends upon them. When women sing in the bathroom while bathing there is a light that descends upon them. When women sing for the Lord while they are sweeping the house the brush becomes celestial and covered with flames of fire which burn the work of manipulation and enchantment in their homes. When I was researching this young man I began to study his maternal family to look for family. Foundation and Altar I found out that his tribe was linked with the Queen of the Sea called Koku. The marine world was the way forward since his family was linked with water. Quickly I summoned water spirit connected to his family. When they appear I made known to them that I needed to overpower this targeted young man at all cost. Later I tried to cause him to fall in love. I tried to get him to have a desire for a woman in his heart so that I will enter his heart but I found that he was not in these things. Despite reinforcement, I was unable to subdue the young man. I kept monitoring this young man and I was following him to church. Water baptism in the spiritual world. When I followed this young man to church, on that day their pastor led them to the local stream for baptism and I followed them in order to monitor and see what will happen. When the members of this congregation arrived before the stream for baptism I saw their pastor entering the water with two members. They were actually praying for the sanctification of the stream. When they pray for this stream of water, I saw with my spiritual eyes that the stream of water has turned to blood. I saw that this blood was shining and resplendent. The blood was smelling. Aroma. In truth, this was the royal blood of Jesus Christ. When I saw this mysterious blood I said, This must be the blood of their God. As soon as the water turned to blood, I saw marine spirits leaving the stream for this water was their dwelling place. The water spirits fled the blood of Jesus and they were joined by demons on the bank of the stream. And when the baptism service began, quickly I saw the devil himself. Joining these forces of darkness in the left side of the bank in order to attend the baptism ceremony. On the other side of the stream, I saw bright angels of the Lord. They were present in this service of baptism. People underestimate what happened in the baptism but the devil takes it seriously. When the man of God began to baptize his members, I saw that many of his members had covenants, bondages, ties, marks of witchcraft. However, as soon as they would dip in the stream that had become the blood of Jesus all the bondages, chains, curses were destroyed and they remained in the stream. The blood of Christ was cleaning them. The blood was destroying witchcraft manipulation in them and they came out new creation. I mean, they came out of water resplendent and shining thanks to the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil and his mermaids and demons were watching the whole thing. The angels of God were assisting. I saw that they had their weapons ready. Whenever a person was baptized the devil was dismissing the monitoring demon and he was deploying two new demons of coolness more powerful. Thus when a Christian gets baptized the devil would replace the monitoring demon with a more powerful demon to cool down his faith and get him to backslide. 
I saw the devil giving a scream of anger and telling demons in that place to leave. They were dismissed and they were replaced by cooling demons more powerful. These cooling demons came in order to fight the newly baptized believers. That is why many people slacken after baptism. Baptism is very powerful in the spiritual world. I saw the devil ordering powerful demons of coolness to follow the baptized Christians. I saw these Christians coming out of water that had become the blood of Christ, they were covered. Baptism intensifies spiritual conflict in the lives of God people. There will be an acceleration of battle in the lives of those who are baptized. They newly appointed demons of coolness will pile pressure on the baptized believers with intense temptations. Brother, when this young man was baptized, I saw that he came out of water with exceeding joy. There was a heavenly force that exploded in him to the point that he was much more resplendent and his joy was immense. When I saw that my target had become more powerful I knew that they had no chance against him. I gave up this mission for fear of consequence. This assignment was a failure and the devil was angry. On that day I receive a warning and death threat. Often the devil kill his servants when they fail. I was not killed because I was important and I was working tirelessly for his kingdom.